Hey everybody, welcome back to Chet's Home Tips, the show where I try to explain how to make simple things in a simple way. Uh, this week I wanted to cover something that's very current, something that will help with the upcoming eclipse. So today is Saturday, there's a big eclipse coming on Monday and a lot of people are looking forward to it, but looking is the key part. How do you look at an eclipse when from the news reports it sounds like you can burn your eyeballs out. All joking aside, it is really dangerous to look at an eclipse and you shouldn't do that, but people really want to see it. How do you see without looking? Right? That's the key part. So there are a few different approaches for you to experience the eclipse in a safe way. And I'll go over a couple of those and then I'll show you a device that you can use at home to watch the eclipse in your own way. So the first approach to watching an eclipse is to stay inside. So if you're watching the eclipse, you're looking at the sun when it's behind the moon. So you can't actually see the sun, right? So if you stay inside, you're also not seeing the sun, which means you're having pretty much the same experience. So that's one thing you could do is just not watch the eclipse and therefore you'll be getting the same experience of watching the eclipse as everyone else. The second approach is to use some sort of device that someone's provided and sold, um, such as eclipse glasses. There are these kinds of glasses available online or in uh, more traditional retail type stores uh, that you can buy to help you watch the eclipse in a safe way. Now the problem with this is First of all, you may not be able to get those. If you only found out about the eclipse today, you may not be able to find any of these glasses because stores may be out, right? Or uh, they may not be able to mail them to you in time. So what do you do if you wanted these glasses, but you simply can't get them? Another problem is it's not clear whether some of these glasses are actually safe. Like they will allow you to watch the eclipse, but that doesn't mean that they'll allow you to watch the eclipse in a safe way, right? And that's the point is you want to be able to experience the eclipse without burning out your redness, right? So the third approach is to fashion your own device and that's what we're going to talk about today. So here it is Saturday. I didn't buy any glasses. I really want to experience the eclipse outside. How am I going to go about that in a safe and enjoyable way? So we're going to need some simple equipment for this. We're going to need some duct tape. Uh, which is useful for many things, um, including the device that I'm about to show you. Uh, and we're going to need some scissors and we're going to need a ruler. Now some points about this equipment is, uh, you'll notice I have two rolls of duct tape. We don't actually need that much, but I always find it's better to have a backup solution, right? Um, the scissors, I don't have a backup solution, but if you think about scissors, there's actually a blade on either side. So there's two blades. So if it really breaks down, we could just break it apart and now we have two knives instead of scissors. Now I should also point out that I'm using a particular brand and a particular style of scissors. This could be any brand, any style of scissors. In fact, it could, uh, it could even be a knife. It could be anything that cuts, um, including teeth. You could actually use your teeth. Uh, as part of this, but I find scissors to be a little more uh, exact and doesn't leave tape residue in your mouth. Uh, and the third part is the ruler. Now you'll notice that I have um, a, a T ruler here. It's a specialized ruler uh, with a, a straight edge and you can measure um, perpendicular surfaces uh, and measurements this way. This is not required for our uh, experiment here for our device. It's just the only ruler that I could find in the house that was long enough. Now you're going to want a ruler that is at least 12 inches long, which coincidentally is exactly one foot. So as long as you have a ruler that's one foot or 12 inches long, uh, then you'll be fine. So now let's get down to it. I'll show you how to create this simple device for watching an eclipse. First of all, you're going to take the roll of duct tape. If you only have one roll of duct tape, Again, that's totally fine. It's just that I like to have a backup solution. And also this can be any brand, um, but you want to make sure that it really is duct tape, something that's really uh, nice and opaque. You don't want to think, well, maybe this scotch tape will do, and, and it won't. Um, scotch tape is what we call 
uh, in the tape business, translucent um, or even transparent, which is all the way translucent. Um, and that's, that's really sort of not what we want in this situation. We want something that is um, very opaque, very, uh, with the, the scientific term for it is not see-throughable. Right, so you want tape that you can't see through and, and duct tape is really good for that. So we take the duct tape and we pull out approximately, it doesn't have to be exact, but it needs to be pretty close, approximately a foot in length of duct tape. And then we take our scissors or other cutting implement and we cut it at that point. Right, so now we have a foot of duct tape, right? Okay, so let's set that aside. And now let's do the same thing again. Take another piece of the same length. Now, instead of using the ruler, here's a little trick that I like to use. I can actually measure this against the existing piece of tape because I know that that's the size that I need, right? So we'll cut that again in the same way. Now, sometimes you'll find that your scissors get stuck and this is a really good reason for you to have backup both pair of scissors and roll of tape because if they get irreparably stuck, then you need another solution now. I was able to get the scissors out of there and continue cutting, so we're all good. So we've got the second piece of tape. Um, sometimes the tape binds up on itself uh, and you may need to start over. Um, and if it happens over and over and over again, you may run out of tape and that's why we have the second roll. So you got the second piece of tape and we're gonna put it exactly over the first piece of tape and we're going to smooth it out so the top one sticks to the bottom one making what is essentially a really thick single piece of tape right so it looks like one piece of tape but you know what it's two see that it's two pieces of tape but they're sitting over one another all right now here's the key bit is that you want to take this piece of tape and apply it in such a way that you cannot suffer eye damage from watching the eclipse. Okay, so watch carefully, ready? All right, and now I'm completely safe to go outside, look directly at the sun and not suffer eye damage. And I am really looking forward to it. This is gonna be great. So thanks for tuning in this week. Uh, tune in to the next episode in which I'll create another device that helps you live your life in a simpler and more effective way. Thanks.